after all this time. Conquest Reimagined has arrived. This is an early alpha test. Just a small preview, but I've been waiting to be able to show this to you. As a quick rundown, Conquest Reimagined is a remake of the classic Lord of the Rings from 2008, based off Star Wars Battlefront. You have full missions and a complete overhaul to the combat. However, most of that isn't in yet. This is just a very short preview of what the first Helm's Deep prologue is going to look like. There isn't really anything in terms of combat just yet, but hey, you guys are really in for a treat here. This video is sponsored by Naraka Bladepoint a melee-based combat battle royale game. Fight on the most brutal of battlefields. It even has a cool powered grappling hook. There are so many different melee weapons for you to find and explore. Shoot from afar with some awesome ranged weaponry like cannons and muskets, bows and crossbows. The game has full facial customization, even letting you upload your own picture to be part of the game itself. Whether you're fighting on foot or using your cool parkour skills to jump across buildings. There's in-depth and fast-based combat to try and predict your enemy's moves before it's too late. Finding out heroes and using their own unique skills to play to win the game. If you want to check it out, it's 50% off on Xbox until the 1st of November and free on Xbox Game Pass. So click the link in the description to find out more and download Naraka Blade Point today. I actually really love the menu music. All the music in this, as far as I'm aware, is made specifically for Conquest Reimagined. And hopefully, I guess I'll find out once this is uploaded to YouTube, isn't copyrighted. But I'm assuming it isn't, because this isn't Lord of the Rings music, but it sure does sound like it. Heading into the single player, it seems like we only have the Helm's Deep prologue to check out. But of course, the full game will be within it, with all the missions and all the levels, with complete new combat systems and characters. When they fled Edoras, they had to leave everything behind. Their hard-earned belongings, their possessions, even their fallen. Oh, am I... I'm in. Oh my god, that motion blur. That is horrific. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, I guess there's nothing we can do. There's some horrific motion blur on this. <laughs> but we cannot turn it off. The way to Helm's Deep can be covered by a skilled rider in half a day. But they were ordinary people, not soldiers, and too many for just a few horses. It was hard and exhausting and took much longer than expected. Wow, look at this. This is goddamn beautiful. Halfway apart from there, the motion blur. They were attacked by Saruman's treacherous forces. It was a short and brutal battle. Good men lost their lives. Every missing spear will weaken what little strength they already had. One distinct soldier was tossed from their horse and fell unconscious. When he awoke, he was the only one still alive. Alone and behind enemy lines. Fortunately, some horses also survived. He still had this one chance to follow the others. They made it to the castle, certain that they would escape the enemy once again. But how could they have even fathomed what was really coming? Part of me is so incredibly immersed with how beautiful this is. The other part of me is trying not to be sick because that motion blur makes me feel really ill. But hey, we've made it to the castle. We're now in third person mode. So it seems like there is a full campaign with a new story that we never actually got. You can change perspectives with the C mode, but because of that motion blur, I'm gonna have to stay in third person for now. So, I, so I'm so i able to complete this, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's head up the ramp of Hornburg. I have to say the character work, the models, all of that looks brilliant, especially in 4K, it looks gorgeous. For a second, I was walking up here and I was just not doing any commentary. I always forgot <laughs> that I was recording. This is so cool. All right, everybody, how are you doing? Wow. All right, lads. It's just me bursting open the door. What can I say? What can I say? I belong here. I'm over here. Come I, to me. I'm coming. I'm coming. So objectives in Lord of the Rings Conquest used to have rings like this around. I love the attention to detail. 
This is ill news indeed, if the forces of Isengard will be upon us by nightfall. So it is true. I didn't believe this ranger, but coming from one of our best men... So, you don't believe Aragorn, but you believe me. I mean, fair enough, but Jesus Christ. In order to take care of everything else, we have lots of work to do. Do you feel ready for it? I don't need any rest. I am ready. Let's go to the armory, lads. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going. Do I get a bow? Do I, what do I get? Collect Legolas's daggers. Is he not going to need that? Um, fair enough, I guess. Are you telling me to move out the way? Look at the armor I've got. You're an inspiration for all of Rohan. Thank you. Thank you. I am an inspiration, aren't I? Placing ammunition on the walls. Interesting. You see, the start of Lord of the Rings Conquest on the Xbox or the PlayStation version, it would essentially just start at Helm's Deep. You'd be right in there. It seems like they're trying to flesh it out a little bit more and make it almost like a full game. Because whilst Lord of the Rings Conquest back in the day was... I loved it. It was just a Lord of the Rings reskin of Star Wars Battlefront, just without all the campaign and the unique story and stuff. It basically just followed the film's mission by mission. There should be, knowing Hornberg, a way down to the wall here, the deeping wall. Supposedly? Is there not? Should be through one of these, but I, I guess not in this version of Holberg. Interesting. How do I get to the Deeping Wall then? Ah, yes, I think there was a way down. We just had to go this way. It's a little bit, a little bit of a redesign. Here we go. Let's place the ammunition in that barrel. Yeah, I think in a modern standard of game that they probably had to do a little bit more to keep people interested rather than just a battle to battle thing. Press E to click. Gandalf, you probably shouldn't be leaving this here. Also, why is it here? That is the question. Oh, so it was Legolas's daggers was something that I could have picked up that I didn't pick up. Okay, we're going to have to go and get that again soon because I would I would like his daggers. So there's 19 secrets here. I'm assuming things from the movies. We filled up all the barrels. We filled them up with spears, apparently. Oh, wow, you, ca you can actually jump. <laughs> there is a jumping animation. I was not expecting that. Excuse me. Excuse me, lads. You're an inspiration for all. I know you've already told me I'm an inspiration. All right, mate, I'll come to you. Just give me a second. I need to go and get Legolas's daggers because I think they're going to be really important in the battle to come. Don't know why he's just leaving them around, but I'm not going to. Okay, is it this on the? T ah, lovely. Is everybody staying safe and warm down here? Good, good, good. It's a little bit soggy. Oh my word, this is fantastic. Jesus, the scale of this is completely different to anything Lord of the Rings Conquest ever had. Of course, so far, it, it doesn't really feel like Lord of the Rings Conquest. It feels like an entirely new game, but I am not complaining. Because that, that game was great, but it definitely needed some fleshing out. Right, let's put our stuff here in this big open cavern. You're an inspiration for all yeah, This is the third time you've said it, mate. I get it. Cheers. I, I appreciate the compliments, but you, now you're just being weird. <sighs> People these days. Jesus Christ. Aha. Oh, yes. Up we go, lads. Oh, so it puts us into first person when we're uh, too close in order to actually see in third person. That's kind of a cool touch. Oh, the spiral staircase. Oh, well, <laughs> this game. <laughs> Imagine it's in VR. Yeah. I would not manage to survive. Hello, I'm going to use your horn. I think it's working, mate. I think we got it. Ooh, this feels like the opening to Doctor Who. Oh, oh, we made it. Strong words. Yep. From a strong man. Yep. I am motivational. Don't worry, mate. I've got you. I got your back. Don't you worry. Let's go and motivate some other people. God, I could do this for a living. Could be the next goddamn Tommy Robinson. Tony Robinson. They're, they're two very different people. What do you need, my friend? Like they were noble warriors of the rogue hero. But how can we face an enemy as this? Who are we in the face of the Uruk Horde? So the more I motivate the soldiers, the better the defense gets. It just gave me a percentage increase of defense. Yeah, the walls have never been breached. Let's continue our motivation. Wall defense increased by 40%. Hell yeah. 
Oh yes, look at this. The texture work and the modeling. This whole map is goddamn beautiful. The Helm's Deep map in Lord of the Rings Conquest was so iconic and it was such a great opening. But it is time. And so it begins. And so it really begins. So they have the menu screens just like they have it in the original Lord of the Rings Conquest. And of course, before it starts Battlefront. I'm assuming later we're going to get more classes, but for now, we have a Galadrim Archer, renowned for their bows of great size and power. It's matched by few in Middle Earth. Their enemies will sure meet a swift ending from afar. And of course, we've got the Royal Guard as well. We're going to go with the Bowman because I love the goddamn Bowman. Oh God, look at this. Look how cool I look. Look how they've got voice acting for everyone as well. I love the scabbard on the back. Oh wow, they are actually just getting closer. Oh God, okay, I better get in position. I'm gonna stand here with you lads. Well, our time has come. Oh God. <laughs> Mother. Mother, please. Oh Jesus. The Hornbird must not fall to them. Take a stand and defend the Deeping Wall. And the first arrow. Oh. And so it begins. F to command the... Oh my word. We can command. I don't mind that. Press F to command to fire. Loose. Okay, we can volley fire. Loose. You shoot from the back as well. Okay, we've got them shooting over our heads. I, I really... One more fire. One more volley fire. They have set the fire of war tank at the wall. Aim Play for the, the neck. We got one hit. Keep firing, lads. So at this point in time, we're just telling them to volley fire. We're, we're not getting into combat ourselves. But I'm enjoying just volley firing these boys. Uh-oh. Guys, he's... Just keep firing, please. Just keep firing. I'm just going to spam F so they keep firing. There's one more. Good job, good job, good job. Okay, we got another one done. And he's over there. Aim for him. Aim for him. Yep, good job. There's another one. Take him down. Take him down. No! <laughs> Keep firing, lads. I mean, the only issue with here is t technically it's just the computer fighting the computer. I, I don't think there's any chance of these guys actually reaching the wall unless the computer wants them to. Because I'm not doing any shooting here. I'm just ordering my lads to shoot. Mate! How are you dead? They don't even have any archers yet. Kill him. Kill him. Kill him. There's one on the wall. Something tells me we're not going to keep this wall alive for much longer. Uh-oh. It also doesn't help that we're losing archers at the same time. <laughs> we're trying to take these guys down. So every time we have less and less arrows to do this damage. Take them down, boys. Take them down. One left. Yes. Completioned. Oh, well, there we go. It is a completioned. <laughs> okay, so it is very clear there is very little in terms of gameplay within this so far. As mentioned, this is just a prologue preview, so hey-ho. <laughs> we got to run around a little bit, but we saw a cool battle at least. It seems like the combat system hasn't been worked in just yet. And there we have it, a victory. Now, of course, this is gonna be a full game later on with full gameplay and full missions, much like the original, but expanded. But I wouldn't worry too much. This has been the first preview of Lord of the Rings Conquest. Sorry, <coughs> just Conquest reimagined. And it has a bright future ahead of it. So I cannot wait to come back to this once more has been added in. But go and check it out if you guys want to. It's completely free, of course. And even when the full game is completed, it will still be completely free. So make sure you go and support the development. But until then, I will see you in the next one.